Looking forward to camp. Always looking forward to camp. Smell the cut grass. Get ready. Our guys have a great attitude. Our word for this year is to be finished. Finish those games. Finish those close games last year that we came so close to, uh, so close to winning. And uh, we need to finish those games. And the way that we're going to finish them is number one is to develop uh, great depth on our offensive and defensive lines. I think we finally have them. You know, you guys know we played with 17 freshmen last year, 64 scholarship players uh, instead of 85. So I think we're getting a lot closer to that number this year. Uh, looking for consistent play out of our quarterback. And uh, whoever that quarterback is going to be, he's going to be a consistent player that can move our offense and score in the red zone. I think we'll be very strong in our kicking game. I'm excited to have Josh Rasheen back. The punting job is wide open. I recruited uh, another punter this year to come on in. We're going to put our best players uh, on special teams. I think we're going to be very strong in our return game with Dexter McCluster and Marche Green. I'm excited about having John Thompson, an uh, outstanding coach. I was going to enable me to be the head football coach. Uh, I'm not sure the offense likes it as much, but uh, I'll be more involved in the offense and what we're doing. Uh, we spent some time tweaking our, our offensive and defensive schemes, and we brought some guys in for research and development, so I'm excited about our new ideas and our new team. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's not intimidating to me. It's what I expected. Uh, you know, we wake up on Saturday, we believe we can win every game. And you can see that with our team last year. We take them one at a time. I think there's some very, very good teams in the SEC. I don't think there's one team that's unbeatable. So I think that uh, it's a tough league, but I think every team uh, has its weaknesses. Right. Well, we have a system that will enable the quarterback that we have to be productive. Uh, do we have that quarterback that's going to take us to the championship? I don't know that. Uh, I don't know that yet. I think we have one waiting, and uh, he won't be to play this year. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We have to be creative on offense. And we have to do the things that our quarterback can do to move the ball. Is our quarterback going to be the focus of our offense? Uh, I think Ben Jarvis will be. I think Dexter McCluster will be. But we have to find somebody that can be very, very consistent in what we want him to do. Well, quarterback and linebacker, you know, uh, replacing Patrick. Uh, he was excellent. Uh, you know, we recruited Tony Fine. We have Jonathan Cornell. We have an athletic group. Uh, looking at my depth chart, I'm really excited to see that, you know, some places last year we didn't have, we weren't too deep. This year, sometimes we're three deep. <laughs> so it's going to be good. I think we have more of an athletic group, an overall faster group and a linebacker, but we don't have that horse that we had in Patrick. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, first of all, he's a great athlete. And uh, the guy will come out of practice one day and look like an All-American. Come back the next day and be very inconsistent. And he played that way last year. You know, he had an excellent game against Memphis. And then uh, after that, he was very inconsistent and uh, really hurt us in some games. So, uh, you know, I don't know what it was, lack of experience in the offense or whatever it is. I'm not going to make any excuses. But we have no more. We don't have any more time to figure it out. He needs to figure it out. If he doesn't, somebody else will be the quarterback.